the Fix-It Sticks All-in-One Talk Driver Kit, right now on Pirate Firearms and Reloading. Alright, so this is going to be the first of three videos with um, reviews of Fix-It Sticks products. Um, patches come additional, who doesn't like a good velcro patch? So today I'm going to be talking to you about the all-in-one torque driver kit from Fix-It Sticks. Um, this is, they do two product lines, a lot of their stuff is interchangeable between the two product lines but they, um, they do a lot of cycling equipment too. Um, so this is from their firearms shooting line. Um, it's set up to do 15 to 65 inch pounds. Um, it comes with a whole variety of bits um, in a nice little box. So it describes the bits you're going to get here on the back. Basically covers all your standard scope and firearms um, screws um, and it also has a quarter inch socket. I've changed mine out but I'll talk about that later. Comes in a nice little box, a nice little pouch um, and of course mandatory instructions. So we'll get rid of that stuff. There is a big warning on here. Um, right, they're all factory calibrated, how to connect it all up, how to use it, um, things to do and not to do, like don't exceed 65 inch pounds, don't rotate the collar by hand, and don't turn it counterclockwise to undo things. If you want to undo things, you've got to take the torque limiter off. Um, so we'll put those aside and we'll take a look here at the kit. So I primarily bought this just to take with me when I go away, you know, hunting or something like that. Um, it's a good little option kit and it covers pretty much everything I want to do. Now the one change I have made is I swapped the quarter inch out for a 12mm socket. All my scope rings seem to take a 12mm rather than a, and a half inch, sorry. Um, so I've just swapped that socket out, but it comes with the little quarter inch adapter bit. So it's just a matter of popping the correct socket on for your tool kit. Um, so as you can see it comes with all the bits, comes with the T-handle, the so the unique thing about this, not only can you slot a bit in the end, but you can also slot it in the side to allow you to get a lot more torque operating that way, or spinning something up quickly. You can also hold this collar and spin it around as well to do things up quickly, um, and then apply your torque. So this little frame has some extra slots here underneath um, and it also has some extra slots here on top so you can add your own bits based on the, the products and the, and the firearms you're using. So the ultimate part of this kit is the torque indicator. So this is not exactly what you call a torque limiter. It doesn't click out, it doesn't stop. But as you apply torque, you can see with the numbers here, it slowly brings the indicator mark around through the torque numbers until you've achieved the right torque. Okay, and obviously that just slots nicely back into place into the kit like that and you're ready to rock and roll. Alright, so up until I bought this kit here, I've been using the uh, Wheeler Engineering Fat Wrench. Nothing wrong with it, it is big and bulky. It weighs almost as much as this entire kit does. In fact, it probably weighs a little bit more. Um, but this is a limiter, so when you get to the torque setting, it will actually click. Um, this is probably more of a uh, workshop tool, as you can see by the the yellow starting to go dark. I've used it a lot over the years. Um, the big thing I find with this is you can't get it into a lot of places without adding a bit extension and then the the desired screw bit that you need. So, um, and this is just like most um, engineering or mechanics torque wrenches, you've got to pull the cap, you dial it up to the appropriate number and then you apply your torque. So that's basically what this is replacing in terms of um, me going, you know, hunting or, or on a helicopter trip or something like that. It doesn't take up any room. It'll fit in your jeans back pocket. Um, it's a little bit extreme for that, but there is the option. And like I said, the whole thing with all the bits in it weighs less than this fat wrench. Now I guess I better show you how it works. 
So I've got my trusty custom built Ruger 1022 here. Um, it is obviously unloaded. Now I have previously backed out the action screw here to, to demonstrate this for you today. So you're going to take your T-wrench out, you're going to take your torque limiter out and the appropriate size bit which is that one which is the 532 on this Archangel stock. Um, some aftermarket stocks may have different bits on them so just bear in mind. All right, magnetically held into place with the torque indicator and I'm going to probably use it like this today. So all I'm going to do is dial it in here. Now I actually use 25 inch pounds. Um, Ruger recommends 20, um, but this is not a factory action. Um, this is an aftermarket action, as you can probably see by the made in New Zealand. Um, so basically you're going to bring it around and I'm going to try and keep this in camera for you so you can actually see. You continually apply pressure and now you'll start to see that this collar is moving but the indicator is not and I'm just going to keep going I'm going to come back off it and I don't know if I'm going to capture this for you yeah I will okay so you come here I'm just going to hold the rifle and keep coming until the 25 lines up with the indicator on the ring closest to the bit as you can see when I dial it back we've gone back to zero and that's it I've now applied 25 inch pounds to the action screw. So there you go. It's that simple. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I release new videos every Friday, so hit that notifications bell so you don't miss out on anything. See you in the next one.